It's Mac the Guru. Today we're doing a movie review on Jurassic Park. And I'm here to tell everybody, it's not as bad as people saying, man. It's really not. Was it a, a classic movie? No. Nah. Was it an all-time great Jurassic Park film? No. But it's not as bad as the critics or a lot of people saying. To me, I'm going to say in my opinion. I watched it, and I watched it with my son, right? And after we watched it, I always ask him how he felt about the movie. But I never say my opinion because I don't want to influence what he going to say. I said, yo, what you thought about the movie? He said, good movie. Thought it was good. Thought it was real good. I said, for real? He said, yeah. I said, huh, interesting. I thought it was cool, too. I thought it was good, too. And it was. One of the movies that adults might have one perception of, and then the youth to younger kids have another perception. Because adults... You will look at the storyline and you really know the history of Jurassic Park. You will look at it and go, okay, they got to introduce everybody. And, you know, you will look at it like that. But I think the kids and stuff, they really will say it's a good to great movie. And thought the, the action scenes was very good. I mean, you got horses, dinosaurs, um... You know, some of the scenes where they almost died was real good. Uh, and every scene that we seen in the trailer that was like, they show you a glimpse of the action scene in the trailer was real good seeing the entire scene throughout the movie. You know, now at the beginning of the movie, this is where people probably have the most... To say about the movie as far as it being bad. At the beginning it was kind of slow. They did kind of. They got in that thing a little slow. And they had to. Introduce all the characters. That's what kind of made it slow. Because they got to introduce. Alan Grant. Uh, they got to introduce Dr. Malcolm. I mean they got to introduce everybody. And then they got to give us the storyline. Of this movie. You know, so that's what really made it slow, like, at the beginning. Now, it was one more thing that people might watch and go, huh? But I thought it was something that can really happen. So, in the movie, people are just living with the dinosaurs. It's some big locusts. Thing that's chasing people too that's big enough to just eat you, you know. So that was one of the big problems in the movie too. But people is just living with the dinosaurs, and then throughout the movie they showing all the dinosaurs just kill random people. From the people on the ship at the beginning, then they show like the pterodactyls just coming down eating people, destroying planes and stuff, and it's like. Well, yeah, that's what dinosaurs going to do. But I could still see something like that really happening. Because, think about it. It'll be people that saying, don't kill the animals. Like, really think about that. It'll be people saying, no, they're just animals. We can't just, can't just kill them. They're animals. Even though they just going to kill us. These ain't like, like little dogs and then look. These dinosaurs just kill you. You know what I'm saying? But people are trying to live with the dinosaurs. They not even making them stay in a certain area. They like, hey, y'all can just come out and, you know, be willy-nilly live with the people. And dinosaurs is being dinosaurs. So that might be something people look at and go, I like it better when y'all got the dinosaurs a certain place and people go in it and you just let the dinosaurs run wild with the, the people. Yeah. And I could see that really happening. So I didn't have no problem with that because after I thought about it, I said, you know what? 
people would do something like that. Instead of just killing them, they would go, they animals, they gotta live with us, you know. Let's just let them be free. And eventually they'll wipe us out. Cause that's what almost happened in this movie. Some of the standout scenes that I remember was when Claire, she was all by herself and she was in like the, the Jurassic Park area and it was a, like one of the apex predators was chasing her and she had to go down in the water. They had this in a trailer, but actually watching it, you're like, oh, that's fire. You know, um, another scene that was good was when it was uh, Kayla, that's the black chick that was driving the planes and uh, Owen, they was together and they almost died on the ice. That was like a standout one. Um, when Owen and Claire, they go to get their daughter back and it's like some fast raptors chasing them. That was good. It was a bunch of scenes that I watched and said, okay, good scenes that made it good, you know. And then, of course, the big, big bad guy dies, you know, how he died, good scene. You know, I don't want to go too far into details. Uh, of course, you got Alan, Grant, you know, the, the Dr. Malcolm, the original, you know, guys was in it. And, and they was all shining and doing doing their thing, you know. So, all in all, wasn't a, a, a all-time great film, but the storyline, some of the scenes was good to me. Out of seven stars, I gave it. 5.4 but let me know what you thought about the movie did you like it did you like the storyline was it too slow for you at the beginning you know and did they have enough dinosaurs in it uh killing people you know let me know it's mac the guru if you're still here make sure you sub to the channel click that like button and it's always y'all be easy be safe peace